Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith brought to you by Believer's Ministry where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us as we are taking excerpts from our pastor's recent sermon. It's going to be about five minutes. The title of today's message is, Why Sit Here? Our lesson text will be taken from 2 Kings chapter 7, verses 1-9, through 9, but our focus will be on two uh, verses of scripture, and that is verse 3 and the first part of verse 5 from the King James Version, and it reads, and there were four leprous men at the entering in of the gate. And they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? Verse 5, And they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp, or unto the camp of the Syrians. So this Today, lesson is about four lepers who were sitting at the city's gate. They were sitting there with starvation, sickness, and death, staring them in the face. They began to ask themselves a question. They said to each other, why sit here until we die? These lepers made a decision to get up from where they were and keep walking by faith all the way to victory. This lesson will challenge all of us to make a decision to ask ourselves the same question. Why sit here? Why stay in our condition? We must get up from where we are and keep walking by faith all the way to victory. Amen. How would we know that God is a healer if we've never been sick? Amen. How would we know that God is a way maker if he never made a way for us? Amen. So when we are faced with what looks like an impossible situation, instead of throwing a pity party, you can do what the lepers did. You can get up and say, why sit here and wallow in self-pity? Why sit here and be full of doubt? Why sit here and be depressed? Why don't I get up, look my problem in the face, and release my faith in God? Listen, you and I will never reach God except by faith. Because he is a God of faith. His word, you have to know what his word says and pray his word back to him. His word is his will. Get up from there and close the curtain on your pity party. Your act is up. The pity party is over. Get up out of that pit and say to yourself, why sit here? Why sit here? Release your faith in God. You may not have everything that you want, but thank God for what you do have. Instead of murmuring and complaining about how bad things are, count your blessings. Name in one by one. Count your many blessings. See what God has already done. We have to be like the lepers. We have to have a made-up mind to have faith in God to deliver us and keep walking by faith. There may be times when our situation looks hopeless, but we have to know that God is able to deliver. No matter what you may be facing today, you may be sick, you might be in pain, you may be faced with a situation that you don't know how you're going to get out of, and you may have even tried to get yourself out. You may have made mistakes along the way. You may have stumbled along the way. You may have fallen down, but you have to know that you may have fallen down, but you're not knocked out. Amen. Satan Amen. thought he knocked you out. You may have been down for the count, but you're not knocked out. Amen. Satan counted you out. People may have counted you out. You may have counted yourself out, but God never counted you out. If that's you today, don't stay down. Don't sit there. Get up and keep walking by faith. You may not see how God is going to deliver you, but you must believe that no matter what it looks like, how foggy it looks, how dim it looks, how impossible it looks, God will deliver you. He's promised to save us, to heal us, to prosper us, to give us life and life more abundantly. Knowing that, we must ask ourselves, why sit here? We got to get up from where we are, step out on faith, and see God's deliverance for our lives. This is your hour to put your faith on your promise. Make your confession of faith that God will bring you through to victory so that you can help somebody else. 
You can't help nobody else if you're focused on yourself and what you're going through. You may be facing what looks like an impossible situation. To you, it may be impossible. But with God, all things are possible. If we trust that the word has encouraged you, has impacted your life, and we'd like to extend a cordial invitation to come out and join us in service. Our address is 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gehanna, Ohio, 43230.